In the previous video, I talked about collections, but now I want to show you how to use smart collections. And sometimes people get confused between folders and collections and the catalog and all this stuff. So I kind of went over that in the last video, which I will link down below for you if you need it. But today I want to focus on smart collections. I've actually gone back to my main Lightroom catalog here that has a lot of images because I have a lot of collections and folders and you can see all of this stuff, right? We talked about folders and how those are real locations on the disk. Let's collapse that. I could click all photographs here and view all 139,000 photos in my, my main work catalog, but let's focus on these collections and more specifically on smart collections. You can see in the collections, like I showed you, I can just create a collection and then I can drag photos into it and then I can see those photos. So I can quickly make a grouping of photos for a project or a class like this one or something like that. But a smart collection, you don't drag photos into. It actually intelligently does it for you. So if I create with the plus icon and go to smart collection, it's gonna bring up this dialog. And I can say here, do I want to put it inside a collection set or not? Let's just call this smart collection test for now. And I can create rules. And what it's going to do is any rules that I create, it's going to look automatically across everything, all photo, all video, etc., in the entire catalog, and then put those in. So I could say, let's make a rule that file type is a TIFF file. And I could then make another rule that says the rating is greater or equal to or greater than four stars. Now, what it would do is I could then define to match any of these, meaning it would have put the photo in this collection if either of these can do two conditions were met, or normally what I would use is all, I could also do none. In this case, we're gonna do all. So file type is TIFF, rating is greater than or equal, <laughs> equal or greater than four. Man, I just can't, I can't, I just can't talk, sorry. Let's click create, all right? And we can see if I go down here, it just built my new collection and it's just randomly putting all these photos in. Some of these I haven't seen in years because it's saying, hey, here's all the photos that are TIFFs. Now, just like anything else, I could mix these, I could sort these, I could sort them further with the filter bar, I could use T to bring up the toolbar and sort these by capture time, uh, reverse or A to Z or Z to A, etc. But the bottom line is here, here's my smart collection. If I go back to another collection, let's say my to-do folder, and I try to drag a photo into this smart collection, you can see it's got an X there, nothing happens. I can't drag a photo into a smart collection because it's defined only, and I can still edit it by right-clicking and going to edit, it's defined only by the parameters in that collection. And you can see this defined from other collections by the little symbol here, it has kind of a little star on it representing smart collection. I'm going to go ahead and delete the selected collection and it's just going to remove it from the catalog. Bear in mind when you delete a collection, you're not deleting photos from the catalog at all. You're simply removing that collection. The photos and their edits are still in the catalog. They're simply not going to be within that collection. That's what happens when you remove a collection. So if you wanted that collection back at this point, you'd have to remake the collection, but the photos would still be there. Let's go back to here, and you can see lots of ways to do this. For example, here's a Gavin Smart Collection, right? If I want my photos, if I want a profile photo or something like that, I can go in here, and any photo that's in any way named or tagged Gavin is going to show up automatically in this collection. In fact, if I look here, what it's actually looking for is keywords. I could also change this to any searchable text so that even if the file name contained Gavin or anything in any way related to it contained Gavin, it would put it in there. So you can go through the options in these and find basically an infinite number of metadata and filter and tools, contains, doesn't contain, entering information. You can get pretty granular with this. And as you get more and more photos, in your catalog, you'll probably find yourself using smart collections 
more and more and more. If you look here, for example, I have a smart collection for when I'm editing video, even though I don't edit video within Lightroom because it's a terrible video editor, I do still have it import videos into my master catalog. And so I have a smart collection that says if anything related to the video contains fill or B-roll, which is tags and names that I put on my video files, put it in the collection. And if I click on this video fill, you can see it brings up a whole bunch of videos that have been tagged this, and I can actually use this to quickly go through and find videos for projects or editing or something like that. And of course, within that collection or smart collection, I could do control F or command F and search for a specific keyword, etc. All the filters and tools and options and controls that you have, for the most part, work within a collection or a smart collection. So smart collections are really powerful. You can filter them however you want, they're just gonna make your life easier. I hope you found this useful. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have a question and we'll talk more in the other Lightroom videos.